freaky Friday the 13th, and tomorrow is St. Patty's Day, and the grocery stores are all pretty packed. And I specifically asked a girl to register, is it a St. Patty's thing, or is it like a coronavirus panic? She definitely said it was a coronavirus panic type buying spree situation. I just wanted a couple of Boston cream donuts. So here in New York, uh, we do have confirmed coronavirus cases right in my neck of the woods. And yes, people are starting to panic shop. And I want to put out there, I do have a solution. In uh, previous times, there's something called a victory garden. And a victory garden was uh, your garden you're planting, and, and you're, that's going to be your victory. You're going to have food, you're going to have water, you're going to have sustenance because you're doing your agricultural thing. And that's what we got to do. How did we get here? Because the people who are in our positions of uh, government, making policies, are not mentally able to do the job correctly. Uh, not everyone reaches that level of abstract thought in, in their mental development. Uh, not everyone possesses those qualities of, of moral uh, guidelines and um, logic, you know? These people are very aggressive and they've got a big fan base and some fancy suits, but that doesn't make them suitable uh, to make policies for uh, a large population of others or, or to be responsible in things. So now we have basically um, a, 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 a plant, cannabis plant, you know? The hemp variety of it can be used, to, it practically grows in a ditch, and it can be used to make just about anything, from food stuff to paper products, toilet paper, uh, you know, clothing, construction materials, instead of cutting down the trees, which grow so slowly in comparison. You know, we have, President Trump just made this legal, yet law enforcement in New York State, who has had uh, a hemp program for like two years now, is still pulling over uh, drivers trying to deliver pro uh, product, agricultural hemp. You know, uh, they know it's not marijuana and they're, they're fucking with the farmers. So, it's just really crazy. You, you have people of, in positions of so-called authority who have no business being there. So, if I was in charge of, of government, I would take that big government money. And you know, in, in New York State, we have farmers and we have crops, but no one is a uh, processor, you know, to turn these things into, into paper, turn these things into construction material. So I would take my big government money and I would make the processing plants for people. And I would no longer require them to pay $500 and, and, and to get their certificate to grow. I would say, okay, people, grow your hemp. Grow your marijuana, take your six marijuana plants, that's fine. Aside from that, grow as much hemp as you want. Anybody can grow it. Joe Schmo, up to the big old established farmers, grow it, cash it in, trade it. Uh, do you grow other things? Do you grow tomatoes, celery, lettuce, corn, whatever? Cash that in, trade that in. This is what we need now. Let's get agricultural New York. Let's get agricultural America. Let's put value on real things, you know? Money doesn't grow on, on trees, but apples, oranges, all kinds of stuff you spend your money on does. You know, we have a crop that, that could be our saving grace. All our crops, our agriculture has always been America's crown jewel, our, our fertile land, and our farmers. Get out there and plant something you can grow today. You never know. You might need to sell it or trade it. You might get good at it might enjoy it. Take care.